This is the tenth section of chapter 12 on differentiation, and this section is about sketching gradient functions. So what we need to be able to do in this section is to be able to sketch the graphs that are given by either the first derivative or the second derivative or even both. So here's an example. So let's say we look at the blue line here, which is the graph of a function. OK, so this looks like a cubic. And the red line represents the graph of the derivative. Now, if this is a cubic, we'd expect it, this to be a quadratic once we differentiate it. Now, let's see what's happening. Well, first of all, let's look at the points where the gradient is zero. So the gradient is zero here. And notice that the graph has a value of zero. And here again, when the gradient is zero, on this graph, this red line, this derivative graph, has a uh, value of zero. When the graph is increasing, it has a positive gradient. So the red line, the derivative graph, is above the axis. It's positive. So you could think of almost the uh, y-axis here as being dy dx rather than y. And here, again, where the graph is increasing, it's positive. It's above the axis. Where the red line, the graph of the derivative, is below the axis, dy dx is negative, which means that the graph is decreasing. It's going down. So we need to be careful in that increasing graph means above the axis, decreasing graph means below the axis, zero gradient means on the axis. Now I've added this green line, which is the graph of the second derivative, which you could think of as being the gradient of the gradient. In other words, what's going on with the gradient of this red line? because you're differentiating this again to so the gradient of the gradient. Here we can see it's a straight line. And again, when this graph is decreasing, we have a value where the second derivative is below the axis. Here where the gradient is zero, the second derivative is zero. And then as this, the first derivative increases, then we can see the gradient also increasing. It's above the axis. So again, like the first one that we did, we need to think below the axis, decreasing, above the axis, increasing. Example 19, the diagram shows the curve with equation y equals f of x. The curve has stationary points at negative one, four, one, zero, this point here, and cuts the axis at negative three, zero. Sketch the gradient function y equals f dash of x showing the coordinates of any points where the curve cuts or meets the axis. OK, so here's my axis. Now, I'm basically drawing a graph of dy dx against x, but we label this as y. Now, we don't need to differentiate at this and know what this function is. We just need to look at what's going on. So remember, increasing above the axis, decreasing below the axis, and where the gradient is zero on the axis. So let's start with the points where the gradient is zero. And the gradient is zero here and here at the x values of negative one and positive one. So that means my graph is going to be touching the axis at those points, at positive one and negative one, where the gradient is zero, the graph of the derivative will be zero. Now, this part is increasing. So it has a positive gradient, so it might be worth writing that down. So a positive gradient here, positive gradient here, negative gradient here. So what does this mean? Above the axis, on the axis, below the axis, above the axis. So that's what I draw. Above the axis, touching the axis, below the axis, touching the axis, above the axis. And that's it. So... This will label this graph as the graph of f dash of x, the graph of the derivative y equals f dash of x. Example 20, the diagram shows the curve with equation y equals f of x. The curve has an asymptote at y equals negative 2, so there we go there, and a turning point at negative 3, 8. It cuts the axis at negative 10, 0. Sketch the graph of y equals f dash of x. So we're going to sketch the graph of the gradient function of the derivative. 
So let's look at what's going on in the gradient here and it will help us decide how it's going to look over here. So the first part of the graph on the left hand side, it's going down, it's decreasing. So I've got a negative gradient for that part of the graph. Here, the gradient is zero, which just flattens out briefly. Then here on this side of the graph, the gradient is positive. It increases. So it's going to be above the axis. But what I notice here is that the gradient doesn't keep increasing, it flattens off. It's tending towards zeros and it's trying to flatten out. So it tends toward zero. So that means that our graph, even though it's above the axis, is actually going to be going towards zero. Now the rate at which we have increases and decreases is important as well. So the decrease here is quick. So it's, uh, it's going to be a low negative, a low negative, an increasing negative. And as it gets to zero, it sort of curves off. Yeah, it's not a straight line going down. It's not a straight value of our gradient. It's changing. And the rate of that change here, it's quick going down and then it slows down. So that negative is going to do the same when we plot our growth over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, well, our graph is going to cross the axis uh, when a gradient is zero at an x value of negative three. So let's mark that on. So I'll put negative three here. So that's where our graph crosses the axis. And let's try and sort of trace it out before we do it. So it's not going to be a straight line going like that. I can see that it's going to sort of smooth off. So sort of round off like that as it goes through it. Then it's going to be positive, positive gradient. And then it doesn't, it, the way it stays positive, it doesn't keep getting higher and higher. It goes down. The rate of increase, increase slows down. So I'm probably going to get something like this goes up and then it, it's going back to it's trying to get flat again. So it's trying to go off towards zero. So let's try and sketch that and see what it looks like. So I may, may need a couple of goes at this. So maybe something like this. Yeah, might be something like that. So let's just check that. So this is the part of the graph where it's decreasing negative gradient. OK, so that's negative. That's below the axis. Then zero gradient at negative three. So zero gradient at negative three. And then it's increasing, but the rate of increase slows down and it's trying to get flat. So this is trying to go off to zero. So that looks about right to me. So y equals f dash of x. Then part B, state the equation of the asymptotes of f dash of x. Well, it's trying to flatten out. So this is trying to get to zero. So the asymptote is going to be here, there, because that means zero gradient, flat graph. So the asymptote has equation. And that looks like it's going to be uh, y equals zero, y equals zero. So you should now be able to do exercise 12J on page 278.